recording. All right. After tree pose, we, we find our way back down to our mat. We'll place our forearms out and around in front of us and inhale up for sphinx pose, zipping your legs up together, squeezing your legs together, lifting up, and exhale, lower back down. We'll place our hands underneath our shoulders, zipping up your legs once more, lifting up for baby cobra, exhaling all the way back down. Maybe we'll just lift a couple of inches off of the ground, squeezing the legs together, lifting up, looking straight down at the ground, and exhale, release. Taking your arms out, back around, by, back behind you, and reaching long through. This is called locust pose. pose. And lower, maybe one cheek down to the mat. As you inhale, lifting up, reaching out long. As you exhale, lower back down. And then this time we'll windshield wiper our legs back and forth. And bring your legs back down. Coming down around on your mat and laying back down onto your mat. Preparing for a figure four position. So back is down to the floor and crossing the right ankle over top of the left knee, holding on around to the back of the left knee, or right, left fly rather. Staying here for a moment, maybe rock from side to side. On your next inhale, we'll release, lifting up that leg and switching over. This time, the right ankle is over top of the, excuse me, the left ankle is over top of the right knee. Hold it onto the back of the right thigh. Rocking from side to side. On your next inhale, we'll take our ankle up off of the knee, placing both of the feet back down to the floor, lifting up off of your lower back up off the ground, lifting your hips, squeezing your hips together, lifting, and back down we go. This time let's take our, do a good morning stretch, reaching out long, and then holding on bending our right knee, holding on to our shin, and then bringing that right leg across your left side of your body, reaching your right hand long. Your right shoulder blade finds its way down to the ground. We'll find ourselves into a twist. See if we can still breathe into our stomach, breathe into our belly while we're still in a twisting position. On your next inhale, come back into center. Stretching out long. And then this time, bending the left knee, hugging it in towards your chest. And then bringing that left knee over across to the right side of your body. Left hand reaches out long, and the right left shoulder blade finds its way down to the ground. We're twisting over to the other side this time. On your next inhale, come back into center, placing both of the feet down to the ground, reaching out long, Third and final time, good morning stretch. 
and exhale, just bending our knees and placing our hands back down onto our stomach. Imagining once more that your hands are a boat and your stomach is the wave of the ocean. As you inhale, you can feel that boat rise with the breath. And as you exhale, let's roll side and pillow our upper arm, our head on our upper arm, bending your knees. Staying here for just a couple of breaths. And as you inhale, push yourself up into a seated position. Crossing your legs. Reaching up tall. And exhale, bring your hands all the way back down, back down to your knees. And that is the end of today's yoga sequence.